Welcome, Diecast Collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium review. Today, I have the honor of reviewing the brand new Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 323 Hydraulic Excavator Next Generation with Work Tools in 1 to 50 scale. So, this is the version that has the new Modern Hex logo on it and also has the four additional work tools that come with it, in addition, obviously, to the standard bucket that the excavator is equipped. So, let's go ahead and dive straight into the review. As you can see, because it's a Highline Series model, it comes in the collectible metal tin with great photos and information on it. Take a look at that photo up on top, loading a 745 articulated dump truck. On the back, you have another very high quality presentation style photograph of the excavator. And if you look at the left side of your screen right now, you will see the additional buckets or the additional attachments rather that come in the set, including the cleanup bucket, the grapple, the hydraulic hammer, and the multi-processor. Here is all your information on the real machine if you would like to pause the video right now and read up on that. By all means, please do so. For the rest of us, let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. So this should be hitting your authorized Diecast Masters distributor right about now. Here is the catalog, which has the rest of the Diecast Masters cat lineup in it. Always a worthwhile inclusion. The other piece of documentation is an instruction sheet as to how to fit the attachments to the model and how to remove them. It's pretty straightforward. And on the other side is how to place the operator figure inside of the cab if you so desire to do that. Top layer of the foam, you have a tool here that can assist you in putting the operator in the cab, more or less as a pair of colored plastic tweezers. And then we have our operator figure, I like to call them. Bob. All right. And of course, in the bottom layer of foam, you have your 323 and the four attachments. So let's take a quick look at the attachments first. So here is the ditch cleaning bucket. This is an all metal casting, including the quick coupler which that's a very nice improvement because a lot of the models sometimes have plastic around here for the quick coupler. That is all metal. Matter of fact, you can hear that. It's all metal. Here is the processor. This is also all metal and very finely detailed, such as the cat logo and warning labels all over it. You can also open and close the processor that's, as the, that's the extent of the angle that it will open, helped along by this metal hydraulic ram here. And you can get it to close all the way here. Also, you can spin this 360 degrees. So that's the processor. Next, we have another interesting attachment. So this is a sorting grapple, or a grapple. Uh, a lot of times used in demolition or in scrap yards, that kind of thing. So the base part of it up here, where you see the cat decals and the warning labels, that is metal. The actual grapple part right here, these appear to be some high quality plastic. And this is another one of the attachments that spin 360 degrees right here. So you won't have a problem at all. By the way, the extent of the angle is that. And then, as you probably saw when I took it out, you could close it up to there. Very impressive. Very cool. Finally, we have the hydraulic impact hammer. Now, this is a metal piece. And unlike years past, the, the chisel part or the hammer part is not spring-loaded. It's actually a metal piece. Here's your warning labels on the back. So very nicely done. All right, let's get to the excavator, shall we? We have the track protectors on here. I've had some people ask me why they put these on. Well, there's a couple reasons. One, it protects the tracks during shipping, but the most important reason is its intent is to protect the track links from separating during shipping. And for the most part, it does a pretty good job at both. All right, let's get the tin out of here so we have some room to work. And we'll start with the excavator review. Shall we get this thing to focus? 
There we go. All right, so let's start with the detail, and then we'll go on to functionality. So obviously, the one of the biggest selling points for this model is obviously an excavator with the updated modern hex with attachments. So here's your modern hex logo. You have 323 up here on the window, cat right here on the side of the operator's seat, obviously cat here. Warning label here. On the back, you have cat here. A little bit of sloppy paint work here, but that can be easily touched up, so I'm not too worried about it on uh, on these red portions right here. If we look up on top, you can see some warning labels as well up on top of the counterweight. Right there. Some anti-slip tread pattern, and these two stocks are GPS pods for the Cat AccuGrade and related programming. On the left, or rather I guess this would be the right side of the machine, you have cat back here, which is finished very nicely. That's very crisp and clear. You can read that perfectly. And 323 down here. Obviously you have cat on the boom and then a warning label running down the stick. As for what's on the tracks, you can barely see it on my camera. But here and here are what appear to be warning labels for tie-down points for low boy transportation and moving of this excavator from site to site. If we look towards the front, right here, right there, is a painted light. doesn't appear that there's another one on the other side, but still in all pretty nice detail there. Underneath, pretty basic, there are your metal track pads. They are linked, so be careful. But they will roll on any surface with friction, and obviously they will roll by hand, and they are spring-loaded. All right, continuing on with the functionality. It will spin 360 degrees with no rocking. So the boom will go up to here which is very respectable. The stick will curl out to there, which also is exceptional because there's no piston showing here. Bucket will curl out all the way to there, which that should be able to get all of the material out without an issue. By the way, some nice plating here on the back, cutting edges, and this appears to be a seven tooth bucket. All right, how does it dig? How far down does it go? Well, mine appears to go down that far, which that's pretty respectable. There is a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but there is a considerable amount of piston showing here. So that could be improved on future models and excavators. So if this would close up all the way like this does, so here you can see there's no silver portion showing. Here there is a significant part of the, uh, the cylinder showing. So that would increase the range of motion on this. But overall, it's still not bad at all. Don't get me wrong. But uh, we like to point out things that could be even better on this channel. So that is your digging depth. Let's bring this back in. And obviously, you can set it at any angle, and it's not going to bleed down. Curl the bucket in. And your bucket goes into there. So you can achieve a very realistic transport load position. Which, by the way, I just so happen to have debuting on the screen for the first time. A little bonus in this video for you guys. This is the Western Star 4900 SF Day Cab Tritum Tractor in a beautiful two-tone black and white finish. So we will we will be taking a review, or we will be having a review, rather, of this model very soon, so stay tuned. But here is its on-screen debut, for those that want a little bit of a teaser. And there is how the excavator looks on the low boy. Pretty good. Very good, in fact. One last thing I wanted to demonstrate for you guys before we close out this video. 
is how does it look loading a dump truck? So how about we debut not just this, not just the Western Star, but how about this Western Star? I know there are some red truck collectors going a little crazy right now. I feel you. That's how I feel about this. By the way, this red is very close to sword red. All right. Continuing. You can see that you can achieve some realistic loading positions without a problem. So there you have it, collectors. That is a conclusive review of item number 85657, the brand new CAT 323 Next Generation Hydraulic Excavator with the attachments. A very nice model, good value for your money. So for under $100 uh, US, which is the MSRP on this model, you get obviously a brand new excavator, four different attachments, which are great, and obviously the high quality collectible metal tin as well. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Diecast Master's brand new Cat 323. And until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. I will see you in the next review.